Today I continue learning another funny clip from friend, the hotel, learn travel English with friends. Um, at the beginning of the clip, Chandler was very happy because he arranged a romantic trip to for Monica. They would spend a some time at uh, an inn in Vermont with some romantic package deal. Uh, unfortunately, Monica was so busy at work, so she suggested to take Ross to take Ross instead of her. At the begin uh, at the beginning, Ross was uh, kind of uh, uncomfortable because two guys on a romantic trip. But uh, when he saw the schedule of the trip with uh, moonlight boat ride he was so excited and uh, when the guys came to the house uh, the hotel receptionist said that oh, oh there's no booking and uh Chandler was so upset because he said that he called to cancel the reservation and they said that it is non-refundable and now when they drive six hours from all the way from New York they say that oh it, uh, there's no booking uh, under his name Chandler, Chandler Bing. Other than that, Ross is so wild, wild up because he eat all of the maple candy. He, he means he eat all the, the presents for, for friends. He eat all the maple candies and he's so excited. He's like a hide. He's he's getting high. Uh, and they end up, okay, and after that, Chandler is okay to take the cheapest room, but uh, there's no more room. The 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 only remaining one is the luxury suite, uh, and the rate is six hundred bucks. Uh, Chandler has no other choice that he has to accept that, and he said that they totally ripped them up. And the thing is that Ross said, "Oh, I know how to make your money work because this is a nice hotel with a lot of amenity. I will try to load up on load up on it, load up on it." Um, Instead of taking one apple, I will take six apples. And Shayla said, "Yeah, that is an uh, apple worth an apple worth one hundred dollar." Okay, let's dive into the clip and learn. Pack your bags. Pack your bags. Other types of bags are suitcase, duffel, purse, pack bag backpack, etc. If you are traveling, uh, all of these bags were, we mentioned would be called your luggage or baggage, which have virtually the same meaning. Also, sometimes we say pack your bags as an expression to say we're leaving a place, especially after an argument or disagreement. Oh no, you guys are supposed to get divorced for seven years. What? No, I'm taking Monica to a romantic inn in Vermont. An inn is a small, usually private owned hotel. Vermont is a state in New York, New England, uh, in the northeast of the United States. Bed and breakfast, B and B. Similar to an inn, but this is uh, this can even be extra rooms in one's home that they rent to tourists and may include some meals. A cheap basic motel is a cheap basic hotel that usually is just used to stop and sleep a cheap basic hotel that usually is just used to stop and sleep while traveling a long distance by car a big on exclusive a big resort that usually has its own services and restaurants so you are not required to leave the property these usually have food and alcoholic drinks included in the price and are popular when people want to travel without any worries. So what do you say? Can you get out, get out of work? Get out, get out of work? The use of connected speech is especially present in this utterance. What do you say? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Get out, not say get out of work, but get out of work, get out of work. Uh, just try and reschedule. Uh, I just try and reschedule. Hi, this is Shayla Bing. I made a res reservation there and I need to change it. If you need to, you can cancel your reservation. Booking is another word that we can use instead of reservation. You make a booking for a hotel or a flight. You might be asked when you are at the hotel reception is, under what name is your res reservation booked? Excuse me, what name are your re reservations booked under? Two other very common hotel-related phrases are check-in and check-out. 
You do this at the reception, which we also call the front desk. The main room of the hotel where we find the front desk is called the lobby. Do you allow early check-in? At when you arrive earlier than the hotel started, stated check-in time. What time is check-out? At what time are you supposed to leave your room if you don't want to be checked another night? Do you allow late check-out? For when you want to leave later than the stated check-out time. What do you mean? It's non-refundable. To refund or to give a refund is to give someone their money back, especially when they're not satisfied with their service or product that they paid for. In this case, Chandler's reservation is non-refundable, which is another way of saying it is not refundable. Well, can't you make an exception? Look, this is ridiculous. I'm not paying for that room, okay? Oh, don't worry about it. Just use your travel insurance. Well, this is what happens when people live on the edge. Live, if you live on the edge, you have a life with many dangers and risks, especially because you like to behave in an extreme and unusual way. A lot of times, however, we like to talk by using this expression when we say that we do something that's actually innocent and not very dangerous. To, I like to live on the edge. I don't have a phone case. Morning light boat ride. Morning light, moonlight boat ride. A moonlight boat ride is a boat trip under the light from the moon. Obviously, a moonlight boat ride is a very romantic occasion. New York, the Big Apple. The Big Apple is a nickname for New York City. No one knows what the exact origin of this nickname is, but it certainly isn't the one is planned in this funny clip. The Big Apple, Ron Burgery, is back. Why do they call it the Big Apple Ron? Because New York has an apple tree on every street. I'm sorry, he's a little bit wound up. Let's say how to say that, wound up or wound up. W-R-U-W-O-U-N-D. W-O-U-N-D, wound, wound, wound up, wound up, wound up. He's a bit wound up. We had, a, we had to stop at every map or candy stand on the way here. If someone is wound up, they are very tense and nervous or angry. In this scene, Ross suddenly looks, suddenly looks wound up which according to Chandler is because he's been eating a lot of maple candy. This candy has a lot of sugar, so that's why Rock is hyperactive. We had to stop at every maple candy stand uh, on the way here. Chandler talks about the maple candy stands. Um, a stand is a temporary structure used for selling things like food or drinks, for example, a hot dog stand. I'm sorry, Mr. Bing, there is no record of your reservation in the computer. Let me get it straight. To get something straight means to understand something correctly. When we want to make sure we understood something clearly, then we chose six hours on the way up here. And now you are telling me, I don't know what to say. Here, I don't know. It's reduced to, I don't know. I don't know. Well, unfortunately, the only thing we have available is our del del deluxe suite. The rate is 100, 600 bucks. A suite is a group of rooms in a hotel that is used by a one person, couple, family, etc. And that is more expensive than a regular room. Deluxe means of better quality and more expensive than other things of the same type. In this scene, in this sense, you could say that a five-star hotel is a deluxe hotel. Another example are certain products that come in their regular version and a deluxe edition that is, includes extra features and does cost more. For example, a, de a deluxe DVD collection or a deluxe book edition. Dude, dude let's try from. We hit on the Mabel Candy store on the way back. This meaning of heat is used as an informal alternative to go to or arrive at a place. Common examples are to hit the gym or to hit the beach. Does that room have the closet I can lock him in? Then Shayla says, we'll take it. We'll take it. Dude, they're totally ripping us off. To rip something, someone off is to make some, them pay too much money for a product or service. This is a nice hotel, you know, plenty of amenities. Amenity is something that makes a place comfortable or easy to live in. Some common amenities you might want to find in a hotel are Wi-Fi, room service, deliver, 
very a food to your room, a kids park, swimming pool, etc. A common collocation is basic amenities, which refers to the basic things people need, such as running water or gas. Most houses lack basic amenities in this poor town. We just load up on those to get a lot of things, something so that you are sure you will have enough to load up on. You might want to load up on snacks for when you start to get hungry. Okay, that's it.